Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Hillary. I'm from the Museum of Early Trades and Crafts located in Madison. And today I'm going to show you how to do a really cool craft that uses simple materials that you may even already have around your home. It's called marbleizing. And when it's done, you'll get something that looks a little like this or maybe like this creates these really cool, fun swirl patterns that you can use either on their own, or you could use them to decorate another project you have, or you could even cut them out in the shape of something. It could be an animal, it could be a heart, anything that you like. You can use it for all sorts of different fun things. The supplies that you'll need for this project are some shaving cream, something like food dye, um, you can also use something like liquid watercolor or liquid ink, anything that has that liquid uh, color to it and that you can put in with the dropper. You want to make sure that you can only put a couple drops in as that's all we're going to need and it needs to have that liquid quality to it. So if something like food dye is what you want to look for. And I only have four colors. You can have more if you have them, but even you know, three or four colors will be plenty uh, to make all the fun things that you want. And you can make lots of different patterns as you go. You're also gonna need something to stir with. A craft stick can work, but anything that you can stir with will also work fine. You'll need something to do some scraping with. Again, a craft stick, maybe a thicker one, but a regular one works fine too. Anything with a nice flat edge. Um, for that works great. And just something that can get a little bit messy because it will be getting into the food dye and, and the shaving cream. You'll want some paper. If you have something a little thicker like cardstock, that works best, but anything is fine. And I find a half sheet is probably best um, unless you want to do a full one, but you may want to start with something smaller. Just cut a full sheet of paper in half if you need to. And you'll want something to do your work in. I just have a plastic tray here, but anything to have a nice surface that you can put the shaving cream into and that can get a little messy is fine. I also have some newspaper down to protect my surface while I work. So what we're gonna do, let's we'll take our shaving cream and we wanna shake it up a bit. And we're gonna spray it into our tray and We want to make just a nice kind of rectangle like you can see there. Um, a little bit thick, but not too big an area. This is what we want. Nothing real too much bigger than that. And then you're going to pick your colors. You probably to start don't want to use more than two colors, maybe three, but you want to probably see what the two look like first. So I'm going to take a little bit of green and notice how I'm just putting a few drops spaced out in this shaving cream, not a lot, just a few drops. And then I'm gonna take take a little bit of red, see what that does, and add not too much, even less of the red, because it's even darker a color. Then I'm gonna take my craft stick and not really even stir, I'm really just going to swirl. If you don't wanna actually fully mix this in, you just wanna get some color into your shaving cream. Okay, I think I may need to add just a tiny bit more to add some swirl to it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more green, just a few more drops, and then a little bit more red. Got kind of a candy cane looking thing going on here. And again, just swirl it in. Don't wanna actually stir it. You're not trying to fully mix this. Just create some fun patterns. Okay, so once I have that, I'm gonna take my piece of paper and just press it down into my shaving cream. Not too hard, but make sure it's all the way down in and, and nice and even. You don't wanna move it around. You just wanna press it straight down in. And I'm gonna pull it up and see how it's nice and covered in shaving cream. I wanna scrape that off. I don't really wanna end up with shaving cream on my artwork. That's just how I got the pretty colors on there. And there you go. You can see my beautiful reds and greens and everything. And if you have a little bit of extra, you may want a paper towel to wipe your fingers off a little bit with or to, to dab some of it off, but it'll come off once it dries, no problem. But if you do need to wipe a little bit extra off with a paper towel, you can do that too. Then you have your beautiful swirl pattern here that you can see. 
I'll do another one to try some slightly different color pattern. So I'm gonna uh, spray another, uh, another little rectangle here. Do this here. I think this time I'm gonna try uh, some blue. Let me get some blue in there because we didn't have any too much blue before here. So get some blue going. Space it out. All that. And then just a teeny bit of green. Not too much. Just some green. Same thing. I don't want to add too much. We just want to be adding a tiny bit of the color. Otherwise, you're going to um, overwhelm it. And the reason I'm only adding two colors, if I add too many colors to one thing, you get brown, right? If you know your color mixing, think about that. So I'm going to swirl it, swirl it. I know in the image here, it looks a little darker than it does in, in real life. It's a little bit brighter with the actual food dye than it looks here. Um, but I think I need, I think I need a little bit more blue maybe here to lighten it up just a touch there just a teeny bit and i can kind of even make some patterns as i'm swirling right part of my art is kind of making some individualized swirls so then i'm gonna take my next piece of paper press it down in again just straight down in no moving it around nothing like that get it nice and covered peel it back and i'm gonna take my uh my same big craft stick, you can certainly reuse it. And again, just scrape off the shaving cream. So you don't have shaving cream on your piece there. Mine's still got a little bit of extra that I need to wipe off there. A paper towel can again, work real great for that if you need to, if you have extra shaving cream, anything like that, it'll come off just fine as it dries. And then I've got that cool blue and green pattern. You don't wanna to wipe too much with the paper towel right away, or it risks uh, wiping off some of your color as well if it hasn't fully set yet. You can get a pattern like that. And I, just for fun, one final thing I'm gonna do here, we're gonna go back to my red and green over here. And what if I add just a little bit of yellow? What if I take the one I already used, it's already been kind of squished around a bit. What if I just add a teeny bit of yellow and then wipe this off and then swirl that around. What happens to my color? Oh, look, it's getting a little bit of orange in there, some brighter greens here. It's creating a whole nother color. And definitely want to really be careful not to mix too much at all when I'm adding a third color, but just for fun, just to see what it would do. I can do just some light swirling. Add one final piece of paper. Press it down in, peel it up, get my nice mess of shaving cream, and scrape that off. And the colors, they'll definitely be a little bit darker before you get all the shaving cream off. And as it dries also, it'll brighten. So when the paint is wet, when the, when the dye is wet, it'll be a little bit darker. It'll brighten up and look even nicer as it dries. So that's how you can make all those fun colors and there are so many possibilities. So play around, try different amounts, different, um, different types of different colors, more green, more red, swirling it in different ways. Play around and make some really cool, fun marbleizing patterns and send us pictures of your finished products. You can see a, a link at the end here of where you can share your projects with us. We hope you enjoy doing some marbleizing and we hope to see you in person before too long. Thank you and have a lovely rest of your day.